Hey, Chris Lipe here with how to sing high songs that go in and out of your break and that have a ton of words and that end up being really hard because, let's face it, lots of times we can hold out a really high note that's on one easy open vowel and nail it. But when we've got stuff that's like, blah, 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 and it's changing vowels and there's lots of consonants and it's in this uncomfortably high area, but we really want to do it and we know that we can if we just reach down enough. Well, I'm here to help you develop some methods in your own voice and practicing to be able to do just that. Sing high, complicated songs that are right around your break and that seem maybe just out of your reach. Laugh out when you strike your pose. Take off all your preppy clothes. You know you're not fooling anyone when you become somebody else around everyone else. You're watching your back like you can't relax. You try to be cool. You look like a fool to me. If you like my approach and you'd like me to come alongside you as your vocal coach, the best place to start is by clicking the link below and joining my free voice course. I walk you and another student through the fundamentals of developing a great voice, an expressive voice. That's the best place to start with me, and then there's lots of ways that we can work together from there. Complicated definitely fits the bill for what I was describing earlier. The chorus is awkwardly high in its original key, and it's in and out of that break passaggio area constantly for me. And those words go by so fast, and the vowels change, and there's air interruptions with the consonants. Really, really challenging. How can we get there with our voices? Now you might say, well, you're being dumb. You're singing it in the original key and it's just keyed too high for your voice. You're probably right. <laughs> but in the verses, there are some lower notes that, I mean, she's, she's got a, a relatively low voice and I like the way my voice resonates in, in those low notes in the original key. So I want to try to sing it in this key. Now, having said that, one of the fastest ways to burn out your voice is by singing songs that are not in your comfortable range. But, also having said that, there are ways to expand your comfortable range and sing songs that you never thought you'd be able to sing range-wise if you approach things correctly. It's a balancing act. Yeah, if I were performing this whole song in a set of a lot of other songs, I'd probably lower the key. And there is gobs of proof that other really good singers online do that too. Brendan Yuri lowers his songs that he records because he likes the key of uh, uh, and the way his voice resonates in a certain way. And he records it in one key in the studio and then he performs it live in a different key. So put your pride aside either way and let's look at how to tackle a song that is unnaturally high for our voice. Here's the first thing you want to do. Cherry pick the hook or one of the main phrases that's giving you a problem and slow it way down. Don't change the key, but change your phrasing because you're slowing it down. And then let your voice exist in whatever resonance makes the most sense for a comfortability sake for now. So, for me, that's this. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're. So, notice, most of that is in my head voice. That's fine for now. There might be, there will be opportunities for me to go in and out of resonances in different playful ways as I'm getting more familiar with the way that this melody feels. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? 
que es complicated. So I am going to practice what with just that word. Complicated. Placing it in my head voice intentionally. Complicated. And then I'm going to K okay, K okay, K. Okay. I'm going to place that note in a way that feels good, that resonates well. But I'm going to give my, myself permission to be in my head voice for the whole first part of that line. And then gradually add support in so that I can nail the end of that phrase. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're... Did the same thing on both lines, right? Sped it up just a little bit, but it's still nowhere near the tempo of the original. But I'm, I'm starting soft. I'm easing in to each line. I'm going to continue to ease in. When you think about it, with most sports uh, and, and with most things that are challenging at the beginning, we have to ease in. We have to dissect. We have to think about how the coordination is going to go when we make a certain transition to something else. Think about shooting free throws for basketball or learning a golf swing. There's so many intricacies that go into creating good technique. We can practice and discover good technique by doing exactly what I'm doing here. Ease in. Be mindful of the way you're transitioning, the way your voice wants to transition, how your voice sounds the best and feels the best transitioning between your different resonances. So key. So, why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Now, what did I just do there? Why'd you have to go and make things? I ended up inserting more support, keeping the pitch the same. One of the reasons I love this melody is because it does. It's, it, it's, it stays on that same note. And I wasn't really that concerned. You know, complicate. I let my voice crack wherever there because now I'm practicing playing with, well, which notes could I ease into and use more of a chest voice or a little bit of a mixed voice? And if you want more help with your mixed voice, uh, I've done lots of videos on that. If you want more help with your support, join my free voice course. I'm not going to go into all of that right now. But my point is here, now I'm going to start giving my permission, myself permission to ease into different notes in and around my break. What would you... Slowing it down. Why'd you have to go and make... So that note, I'm always singing in chest. Things... Except, except for so. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I'm experimenting on a really, really slow down level of placing these differently and playfully. This is a playful melody and we want to capture that, that playfulness. But we can't do that if we're so afraid of each note or not able to. Otherwise, it ends up sounding, if I just sing this without being mindful of it in this range, why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? That doesn't sound right. It just sounds like I'm shouting outside my range. But if I take the approach that I'm talking about, it's it can start to sound. Let me ease into it for you. Why'd you have to go and make Things so complicated. I see the way you. Yeah. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you. It's getting faster. It's getting more articulate. It's getting more intentional. There, I'm getting the tempo up. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Why'd you have to go and make now I've got the rhythm in me? Yeah, why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you. That's a lot closer. And I'm able to use the muscle memory I've developed at a slower tempo and the experimenting that I'm doing in and out of my resonances and around my break to create something that feels more natural and therefore sounds more natural. Now, as I complete, as I, as I keep workshopping this and stopping in between each phrase and grabbing a drink and resetting your mind and you are training your voice. 
you are training your muscle memory and it will, as you heard in the beginning of this video, it will translate, but you have to workshop it. You have to be patient and meticulous. All right. There's other things going on as I take it up to tempo there. And I want to unpack two more areas that will really help you do this. Remove the consonants. Consonants interrupt air and make it difficult to feel out support. If you can initially remove the consonants and then gradually add them back in softly, then you're able to train your the necessary support that you need and the airflow balance that you need as the vowel changes happen and as the pitch changes happen. In other words, we're going to remove something to help us focus on the two other things, support, vowel formation. Why are it's already way easier to hit those pitches and I'm doing it almost at tempo. Now you might say, you sound whiny. You don't sound good. Your voice doesn't sound dumb right now. I don't care. I don't care how I sound at the moment as much as I care about how I feel. I want to feel these notes and place them in different ways and experience what's happening. I can worry about subtle tone modifications in a little while. Oh, it's so easy. You, 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 you really start thinking about where you're placing those vowels, how, it, how each one is shaped. And you are able to choose ways to shape the vowels that then help you articulate the pitch the way you want to articulate it. Right there. If we're not having to worry about the have to, why'd you have to? Ugh. If we're not having to worry about that, if we're just, oh, yeah, I want that to be open. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So when I, when I add the consonants back in, I can lean on how that uh, feels forward, belty, open. What'd you have? What'd you have? There it is. What'd you have to go? Now I feel it. Now I, I lost it a little bit on go, but I felt that right sensation over that have. So as I start speeding things up, as I start adding the consonants back in, and I, I'm telling you, you must isolate these little areas. Notice the small area that I'm using. What'd you have? What'd you have? What you have? What you have? What you have? What you have? It's so small because I'm training that little area into my voice. And you can put it together like you saw me doing earlier and way earlier. Okay, here's the third way that you can start really going uh, in the direction of singing high, uncomfortable songs that are right around your break. If it's high and if it's complicated, likely you can articulate very, very well an octave lower. So practice, as you're bringing it up to tempo, creating sort of a call and answer game out of a particular line. Now, again, we're talking about working with very short phrases. You'll put things together and as your muscle memory starts kicking in and reminds you that you do know what you're doing. And again, this, this takes a ton of practice and time and consideration and patience. Don't expect to sit down for a couple minutes and have this song down. I do this with most songs that I cover on YouTube, or if I'm singing out for a karaoke thing, or if I'm making a full cover for my own enjoyment or for other people, I will go through this kind of thing if it's a challenging song. And oftentimes, just this process that I'm talking about and articulating in this video, it will take three to four hours before I even start recording. And oftentimes will happen even on a different day before I even start recording for real the takes that, that you guys end up hearing. So let me, let's go back to, to this third tip. You're, you're singing the melody an octave lower, and then you're calling and answering with that same phrase at the, the uh, original octave. What this is doing is it's giving ourselves a chance to play with the melody for the note's sake. And it's certainly much more comfortable an octave lower. And it's kind of like, okay, low voices turn, high voices turn. Let's be free. Let's 
be okay to kind of throw our voice up and then rest our voice down. This gets your voice used to not being stuck in Reachville. Learn how to go and make things so complicated. You, if you, if you partake in this game, you're you're giving yourself freedom. You're giving yourself permission to be comfortable even in the midst of the challenges. So here's what this might look like over this particular phrase. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see that way. Oh. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way. I see the way. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Hell, why'd you have to go? 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 So complicated. So complicated. So yeah, not everything is pretty. Not everything is great sounding. Uh, and not everything feels that great. There are some definite areas where I, I didn't, I, I forced it up a little too much. I, I transitioned down into my chest resonance maybe too soon. Uh, I wasn't listening to my vocal budget and I, I ugh, lost my voice a little bit unintentionally uh, because I was out of gas from being too high too long. But we have so much freedom and in, in some of the ways that you were hearing me work out things earlier, too, we have so much freedom to do whatever feels good and let that translate over time, any, maybe even in the moment, into things that sound really good. But you don't get there unless you're free enough to experiment in the first place. And this octave low, octave high, call and answer, shorten the phrases, slow them down, apply the other things we've been talking about, remove the vowels, put, or remove the consonants, put them back in. All these things with this call and answer mindset helps you stay free and loose so you can experiment, introspect, and feel the way you need to be able to. Let's see how I practiced what I preached by going through my isolated vocals for the complicated mini cover I did at the beginning of this video. First, we'll just listen to it back, the lead vocals, all the way through so you can get a, an uninterrupted perspective, and then I'll go back and point a few things out. Laugh out when, when you strike, strike your, your pose. pose. Take off all, all your, your preppy, preppy clothes. clothes. You know you're not fooling anyone when you become somebody else. Run everyone else. You're watching your back like you can't relax. You try to be cool. You look like a fool to me. Yeah. Tell me why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're acting like somebody else. It gets me frustrated Life's like this, you And you fall and you crawl And you break and you take what you get And you turn it into Honestly and promise me I'm never gonna find you faking No, no No, no No, no Going in and out of head voice, I'm choosing certain notes to really, you know, make them prominent and leaning back in other ways because my range is not that comfortable in this particular area. And because I'm singing in the original key, I've got to make trade offs and they actually work out in my favor artistically, even at the very beginning here. Laugh out when, when you strike, strike your pose. Laugh out. I even go into head voice there, but it's it's a cool vibe. All your preppy clothes. You know you're not fooling anyone. Right there. You know you're not fooling anyone. I mean, I I I start out with the the head voice. You you know you're not fooling, and then really punch it. If you make a habit of doing this when you don't need to, then when you do need to, nobody can tell the difference. <laughs> when you become somebody else. So right there, when you become some. This is a, a perfect example of this, and I do it throughout the chorus. When you become somebody else. Run everyone else. 
head voice? You walked in your chest? Back, like you can't Ch- relax. Head? You try to be cool. Chest. You look like a fool to me. Yeah. Tell me why'd you have to go? And then this brief break. Tell me why'd you have to go? Hey, why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see them. So that was all chest. And I, if I wouldn't have reverted to head voice here, I probably wouldn't have had enough energy for the next line. Things so complicated. Nice double there. Things so complicated. I see the way you're acting. But I, I went right back down into chest. I blended in. You're acting like some. Even right there. Acting, acting. The way you're acting like somebody else. Acting was weak, but I, I, I came in okay after that. Somebody Head voice. Life's like this. More head voice. And you fall. So that, I mean, after I'm pegging this. Freedom. Life's like this, you. Really playing that up. Life's like this, you. And you fall and you crawl and you break and you take what you get and you turn it into. Oh, right here, there's so much dynamic. I start with head voice. And you fall and you crawl and you. A little bit of a thin mix and then on break, you know. Break! Get that going. And you fall and you crawl and you break and you take what you get and you turn it into. Nice strong head voice there. But this particular line, I had to practice this a ton because it's it's really hard to in rhythm and up to speed. But by by making it different every time, I not only have this unique and better for me interpretation of this particular area at least in my voice but i save my voice because i'm i'm not going to be able to and you ba 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 that's really difficult with all those different vowels so attacking it differently changes the expectations and gives you some artistic opportunities i can you take what you get and you turn it into honestly and promise me i'm never going to find you fake it even right there. Find you faking. Gonna find you faking. No. And there's really no. This pitch is off right here. Gonna find you fake. Find you faking. That's the yip, right? Find you faking. I'm not really concerned about actually hitting the pitch. I'm just concerned about abandoning up to it. Again. No. 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 You can tell I'm out of breath by the end, for sure. I hope you've enjoyed these three tips. I hope it will help you sing higher and more expressively with less tension. We'll see you for more.